Welcome back to my channel, Chioma Tech TV. I am Chioma, and today we will continue to learn coding. So excited! We'll be coding Minecraft today. It has 12 different steps, it's really cool, and it's very interesting. You can do several different things with code. So, so exciting, guys! But not to worry at all, all coding exercises have a common denominator. Watch the video, read the instructions, and do exactly what it says. But guys, before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Please, 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 just hit that red subscribe button. I really need your help and support. So without further ado, let's get started. We will continue to use our code or code.org to learn coding. Remember, it is a very easy to understand method and I hope you like it. So grab your computer and follow me step by step. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. Practice makes perfect, they say. By the end of this video, each and every one of you should be able to code, no matter how small. Coding activates your brain and lets you have fun at the same time. I'll be sharing my screen right now, so without wasting your time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. So, if you remember from my previous videos, first, you go into your browser and type in Hour of Code. Let's just do that. Hour of code. Then once you're done, it should take you to this website in Google. And you should click on the first website you see. If you've done it before, it should be purple. Just click on it. Then it should take you to hourofcode.com slash us. Just click the white try it button. Then, after you do that, and it's finished loading, it should take you to their homepage of games, where you can do so many different stuff with coding here. But we're going to press on Minecraft Hour of Code. Just click Start. Then, once you click on that, you should see th these three things. We're going to click on the very first one, Minecraft Voyage Aquatic. Press Start. Then, once it's done loading, it should take you on to puzzle number one. So, as you can see, there is an introduction video in front of you. Remember to click the red button to start watching the video. Then, once you finish the video, click on the X button. And let's go on to Minecraft. Now, the first thing they ask us is to choose your character, Steve or Alex. I like Alex. Now that you've clicked on Alex or Steve, now let's read the instructions. You need the supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect the boat from the chest. You can click for less for a shorter description or for more. Just click OK once you're done reading and let's get to it. So it says one run. They already put one move forward for us, but we need a second one to get to the chest. Now that you have two move forwards under your run run block, just press run and it should start in three, two, one, run. As you can see, she walks up two times, opens up the chest, and gets the boat. Congratulations, guys. If you want to see the code you just wrote, just press show code. And look, this is how actual code looks like. Once you're finished, just press show code again. And press continue to move on to number two. The instructions for number two are Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock and hop aboard. So what you're going to do, we're going to put one move forward block under the run. We're going to take a turn right. And we're going to put two move forward blocks under that. Remember, it has to be in this exact order or else you won't get it right. Move forward, turn right, move forward, and move forward. Then, once you're done, you just click one. In three, two, one, run. As you can see, she moves forward, she turns right, and she moves forward two more times. Oh, that's so cute. How, like, if you win, she just starts looking up and jumping up and down. It's just so cute. Remember to hit that show code button once you're finished so you can look at your code. Then, once you're done, click show code again and click continue. Also, if you like the puzzle, just click that heart. I'm going to click a heart because I love coding. Let's click continue and move on to number three. Now that we've moved on to number three, as you can see, I moved my face cam so that you can see the card. Now, let's read the instructions. 
Grab the oars and pilot your boat across to the open seas to catch the cod. So what we're going to do, we're going to put one, move forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, move forwards. Then once you're done with that, let's click run. In three, two, one, run. As you can see, she is piloting to the card and she caught it. Congratulations, guys. Now all you need to do is press the show code button to look at your code. Press it again when you're done and press continue. Don't forget to put that heart. I love coding, so I'm going to put a heart. Then press continue so that we can move on to number four. As you can see, there is another video in front of you. This video is called Aqu Aquatic Repeat Until, which means we're going to be using loops. Remember to hit that red button so that you can start watching, then click the X button so that you can move on to the code. Now, let's read the instructions. Let's feed the card to the dolphin. Use a repeat until block to get to across the ocean faster. So repeat until goal block is already in the one run. Put a move forward block inside of it. It has to be in this order or you won't get it right. Once you've done that, just press run. In three, two, one, run. And as you can see, she is moving her oars to that dolphin and she fed him the card. Congratulations, guys. Remember to hit that show code button. Once you're done, press it again and press continue. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now the number five is done loading, let's read the instructions. There's a Nautilus shell hidden somewhere. Explore the shipwreck to find the chest. And, well, that's how the chest looks like. Oh, look, she's right next to the chest. But you can't go through walls, right? So let's go around the wall. First, we're going to put the turn right on top of the one one. And they basically did everything else for us. Except we need to put a turn right inside of the repeat until gold block. Now we're going to press run. In three, two, one, run. Now as you can see, she turned right. And she's doing it, guys. Congratulations. Oh, this is so cool. You guys are so good at coding. Remember to hit that show code button and hit it again once you're done. Remember to hit that heart and then press continue so that we can move on to number six. Now that it's done loading, let's read the instructions. Looks freezing out there. Catch a salmon on your way to the underwater ruins. So now we're going to put a repeat until go first. Then we're going to put a repeat three times. Oh, this might be a long one. Then we're going to put move forward inside of that. Then after that, we're going to put turn right. And then after that, you put another repeat three times. Where is it? Here it is. Under, wait, inside the repeat until go block. You put another move forward. And a turn left. Now you don't see a turn left. So I took a turn right, I press on the right, and I change it to left. Now, let's press run. In three, two, one, run. As you can see, she is rowing her boat all the way to the salmon. Good job, guys. Look, she's doing it, and she caught the salmon. Congratulations. Remember to press that show code button to look at everything you've done. Press it again to close it. Hit that heart button and press continue so that we can move on to number seven. As you can see, there is another video in front of you. What you're going to do, you're going to watch it. This video is called Aqu Aquatic Conditionals. What you're going to do, you're going to watch it, then you're going to click X, and let's read the instructions together. You found the underwater ruins. Search the sandstone for a chest. Contain prismarine treasure. Oh, so this should be kind of easy. All I need to do is put a repeat until goal. Oh, they already did that for you. 
move forward, they did that for you. If path to the right, they did that for you. Now, if path to the right is a conditional block, it does stuff without you even have to do anything. So say if there was a path to the right of your side, if you put a conditional, then if there's a path to a right, you do what's inside the conditional. Say if there's a path to the right, we're going to turn right. Now that they've already done everything for us, we just needed to put the turn right inside the if path to the right block. Now, let's press run. In three, two, one. And look, she's swimming. Remember, it has to be the same order as it is in my screen. And she got to the chest and she picked up the prismarine. Good job, guys. Now, just press continue so that we can move on to number eight. You guys are so good at this. Ooh, this thing is starting to get a little dangerous. She's in one of those, like, volcanic places. First icebergs, now lava. Get through this volcanic island to find the tropical fish in the coral reef. This does not look like a coral reef. Oh, I see the corals now. Oh, well, now, first, we're going to put the repeat until go. Then we're going to put the move forward block. Then we're going to put the if path to the right, turn right block. Because it's really easy to do. But look, it's a turn left block. Well, just press that turn left, turn into a turn right, and now let's press run. In three, two, one, run. And look what she's doing. She's rowing her boat, and then she turns right, there's a path to the right. Good job, guys. You guys are actually really good at using conditionals. And she's about to catch the tropical fish. Yeah, you guys did it! You caught the tropical fish! Now, let's press show code to look at your code. Press it again to close it. Press the heart and press continue so that we can move on to number nine, guys! Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing! Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button! Now, let's read these instructions. The instructions say, you made it to the reef. Now, search for the heart of the sea. Use the blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. Oh, uh, so this one is a little tricky, but don't worry, I'll help you guys with it. First, put the repeat until go under the one round block. Then put a move forward. If you're standing on blue coral block, these are new conditionals, which means if she's standing on one of these blue coral blocks that my mouse is moving around with, she will turn a certain direction. In this case, she'll turn right. Let's take that left and turn it into a right, guys. Now that we're done with that, let's put a if standing on red coral, because she is going to stand on the red coral, then she's going to turn left, of course. And that's basically all you need to do. Now, let's press run. In three, two, one, run. Now look at this, guys. Now look what happens as soon as she stands on the blue coral. She turns right. Congratulations. Now just look at this red coral. She turns left. Oh, you guys are so good at this. Look, she's almost in the treasure chest already. This wasn't such a hard maze, was it, guys? La oh, she's on the last blue coral, and she made it to the chest and got the heart of the sea. Congratulations, guys. Remember to hit that show code button to see everything you've done already. Hit it again to close it. Hit that red heart, and then press the continue button to move on to number 10. Oh, this is so much fun! Seriously! Now, let's read these instructions. This one looks kind of hard, but it really isn't. The instructions say, There's a squid hiding around here in this ocean monument. Can you find it? Oh, that should be easy to find, right guys? Just take the repeat onto a gold block and put it under the one run block. Then take a move forward block and put it inside of there. Take a if standing on sea lantern, another new conditional, but don't worry, you guys should be used conditionals, right? Then, turn this left into a right, of course, because, look at this, she needs to turn right, right? So, let's change that to a right, and now, let's press run. In three, two, one, run. Now, look at this, she's moving forward, and she turned right at the sea lantern, congratulations! And look, she's heading towards the squid, the squid. And the squid's not really that far away anymore, right guys? I told you this shouldn't be hard. 
She's on the last lantern and she caught the squid. Congratulations. Now, let's just press that red heart. Let's press the continue button and let's move on to number 11. Oh, wow, guys. Now the instructions say, build a wall of prismarine around the black concrete. This will activate the conduct and complete your challenge. So this should be really, really easy. All I need to do is put the repeat until conduct is completed. Put the place prismarine block. It's a new block, but don't worry. It just means they're putting down prismarine. Take a move forward block and take a if standing on sand. Turn it into if standing on sea lantern. And then just take this turn left and turn it into a turn right. As easy as that. Now, let's press run. In three, two, one, run. Also, guys, I just noticed there are magma blocks. And what magma blocks are, they're basically blocks that come from mountains. And if in Minecraft, if you if your boat is above a magma block, even if it's at the top of the ocean, if your boat is on a magma block, it will break because it's a magma block. Like, it sucks your boat in and breaks it. But that's how Minecraft is. Oh, look, it's so pretty. The conduct is so pretty. It kind of looks like one of those Heart of the Seas, except not really, with a little thing around it. Now let's press continue to move on to number 12, my favorite part. Oh, look, there's another video here, and it's called Aquatic Congratulations. Remember to watch that video, press the X, and follow me onto the Minecraft. The instructions are, congratulations, the open aquatic world awaits you. Build a coral reef, a volcano, a shipwreck, it's all up to you. So now you guys can create anything you want. Let me just show you a little thing that I created myself. So I am finally done coding and I created a smiley face. But it takes a little bit more code than you think it would. Yeah, but let me explain to you how I made it. So first, I put the turn right block, and I placed a pismarine. Then, I, to make it easier, I placed a repeat two times block with a move forward block. Then, I placed another place prismarine block, then turn right. Then, I put another repeat two times do block with a move forward inside of it. Now, here comes the long part. This part says, place prismarine, turn left, move forward. Place prismarine, turn right, turn right, move forward, move forward, place prismarine. That's how I created the smile. Then repeat three times, move forward, place prismarine. Then after that is a turn right, move forward, place prismarine, turn right. Repeat five times, move forward. After that, place prismarine, turn left, move forward. Then, the last blocks, repeat two times, place sea lantern, move forward. Now, this might not make sense, but wait until you see how it looks like when it's finished. So, she places the pismarine. So, these are the eyes, as you can see. Now, she is making the smile, the beautiful smile. And right now, it might look like a straight face, but don't worry, she's not done yet. Then, she creates the smiley part that goes up. She goes over to the other side and does the same thing with that. Then to cover up this coral so that it doesn't look like the smile is too big, she adds some sea lanterns. Also, it makes it a little bit brighter. Who doesn't like a bright smile, am I right? And that is it for this video. I hope you liked the video. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click that notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. Bye! See you next time! Mwah.